What's up, guys? Um, so it is 10 o'clock, and I literally had to get off my bed for this one. Uh, I never thought I would be going ahead and recording something and then uploading it. And as you guys can tell, I literally just woke up like a good 10, 20 minutes ago. But a Nintendo Direct Mini just dropped out of fucking nowhere. And so here we are. We're going to go ahead and react to it. I have the link up in here. I have no clue what's about to get announced in this shit. So I feel like we should just go on ahead and just see what they got. Like I said, I don't know what they're about to announce. And I'm literally just recording this off my streaming thing because I was like, all right, you know what? Screw it. Let's just go. So let's just go and just see what gets announced. I have no clue what's going to get announced here, but uh, let's see. Uh, 28 minutes. Please note, due to COVID-19, release dates and other information presented in this video are subject to change. For, all right, so from what it looks like, right, it definitely looks like, you know, everything was pretty much, like, delayed or something like that. So, um, or, like, you know, potentially changed, you know? All right, uh, without further ado, let's go. All right. <sighs> Don't know what's about to get announced. Kind of, uh, kind of interested. I'm trying not to see. Like I said, it's 10:03. It's loud. What we got here today, fellas? What we got? Long ago, two great titans came into existence. The Bionis and the Maconis. The Titans were locked in a timeless battle. What is this? Until at last. Oh, is this? Oh, I think I know. Only their <laughs> lifeless corpses remain. <laughs> yeah, Xenoblade! All right. Give us that sweet, sweet release date. You know what I'm saying? In the sky. Mechon, commence the assault on Bionis. The Monado. It's the only sword that's effective against the Mechon armor. If we could just unlock the Monado's power. Ho 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 ho! No! Yo, this game! No! I I've never played the original. So, this is gonna be a treat for me. Something strange. It was as if I could see into the future. I know you won't believe this, but Shulk can see the future. I didn't know you could do that. I wanna... I wanna say... Oh my goodness! Hell yeah, dude! I'm really... I literally woke up like 10 minutes ago, bro. So I can use this power to change the future. Oh! what I intend to do. Shock! Mekon. It's not over. The people of Bionis will never let you triumph. All right, shook. No! Oh, wow! It was actually it was actually leaked beforehand. May twenty nine. Hell yeah, bro! Let's do it. Nice. Whoa, what? Future connected? Wait, what? Oh! If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. Oh, shit! I thought you'd want to go. ultimate version of a modern classic let's freaking go bro definitive edition hell yeah on nintendo switch the game looks better and plays smoother than ever before that may 29th release date was pretty much a thingy menu screens are easy to read and easy to use and some of the music has been re-recorded oh really can fully immersed in the majesty of this vast world and a new epilogue, a new story. 
Yeah. Future connected will wow. So if you've played and loved the original game, you can not only revisit it, but look forward to one more adventure with Shulk. Good thing I came prepared. We'll probably be needing this. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition launches on May 29th. Let's go. Purchase the game starting. By the way, I'm just gonna move also, it to this because honestly, the like, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Works set will pack in a 250-page art book. Wow. No, we're not streaming. It's fine. All right. Everyone, and What's more? To Nintendo Direct Mini. We've nice job. Upcoming Nintendo Switch games, and we're focusing on a selection of them coming out this year. Now, let's roll through some headlines, shall we? They really did not. Three of 2K's most beloved series are coming soon to the Nintendo Switch system. Is it... <laughs> Bioshock Borderlands! <laughs> this was literally... Leaked. Bro. Wow, let's go, dude. Borderlands Handsome Collection, or whatever, yeah, Legendary Collection, there you go. A quick thing here, it was like, I saw a tweet that basically said, oh, these games are literally coming out. Or like, They've been leaked on, like, the Canada site or something. And, yeah, F XCOM. So, literally, all three of these were, like, rumored beforehand, which is kind of crazy. It's great that we finally have good confirmation, you know? Bang! 29th of May 29th. Wow, nice. Oh yeah, they they, they uh. Three, the Black Order expansion pass. This was announced, like I think yesterday. No lie, this game, this game, it's still really, it's still decent, in my opinion. Woo! I really should start playing it again. I don't know. We're not going down without a fight. We have a universe to save. You are wasting your time, fools. I'm gonna take a guess that so much stuff is like. Well, I mean, I feel like Twitter is like, like exploding right now. I don't know. Doom must become a god himself. Looks decent. In the darkest depths of the ocean lies Ooh. a really fun game. Ooh. You are the last of the human race, forced by a global winter into an unexplored aquatic world. In this deep sea exploration game, you'll collect resources to upgrade your gear, craft items, and dive deeper into the abyss. Okay. As you explore increasingly hostile environments, you better watch those oxygen and pressure levels. And if that's not challenging enough, Shinsekai's time attack mode, Another Dive, boasts a perilous maze for you to race through, culminating with a final monstrous threat. You know, it can get pretty heavy down there, so why not lighten the mood with the It's like a feature. water platformer. It lets you remix the game's cool. background music by modifying audio filters. Oh. The time has come that's, to that's pretty cool, actually. Beneath the ocean's surface. I won't lie. When Shinsekai Into the Depths launches on Nintendo Switch today. Nice. Shadow drop right there. Shadow drop, fellas. Shadow drop. Hey! There it is. What's up? What's up? What's up? Enjoying island life in the Animal Crossing New Horizons game? Well, whether you're already living it up on the island, 
or you're still planning your departure. There's an event coming up and we're happy to spill the beans. Er, crack the eggs? You Easter. See, after downloading the free update we made available at launch, one zipper T Bunny will visit your island in celebration of Bunny Day in early April. Oh? Early April, okay. Can you hunt down the egg zipper head everywhere? Oh. Plus, you can craft these special limited time items from the egg series. The Bunny Day event only comes once a year. This time from April 1st to April 12th. Ooh, okay. We gotta play. And guess what? There's another free update coming later in April. It'll usher in some newly added features, including the Earth Day event. Of course, okay. we'll continue to bring you the latest on updates and more via the official Animal Crossing Twitter account. And okay. other too. So, okay. stay tuned. I'm down. I'm down. We hope you enjoy the updates and everything else about your life on the deserted island. If you don't have Animal Crossing New Horizons by now, what are you doing with your life? Seriously. What are, what are you doing? Hey, look. Someone's hiring. Oh, Someone's this hiring. Is dad's company? Apparently, what? Apparently, they offer a wide range of services. What the hell is this? Job description entails many responsibilities. You'll deliver items. Mop the floor. And maintain a comfortable work environment. So basically... They're trusting you with crane operation. And other tough tasks. Why, why though? Uh-oh. That projector won't do. It's almost like we're getting screwed over over here. Hello? Whether you conduct yourself in a professional manner or opt for more creative solutions, do what you need to do to get the job done. Oh, <laughs> wait. What? Not bad. Hopefully, you're ready to join the team and be put to work immediately because good job launches today. Wow. Tons of shadow drops today. Hello? We got one, and then another one just now. Action adventure puzzler is coming to Nintendo Switch. Contemplating the next step in his relationship, commitment phobic Vincent finds himself pulled into the allure of. This was rumored too. Catherine full bodies was also rumored. Wow. The sea and Rin. Little does he know, temptation might lead to his own demise. In this cult classic, your choices will affect how their relationships unfold, and it only gets weirder. Deservedly, not only is Vincent riddled with guilt during the day, he's also not sleeping so soundly. <laughs> night, his nightmares consist of a crumbling tower of puzzle blocks that he must climb in order to survive. You know, I, I've never day. really played a Catherine game. Love is over for our trouble never really done it. In this dark, intense, and intoxicating story, when Catherine full body releases on Nintendo Switch July, July 7th. 7th. Mm. All right. A free update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will pump up... I want to get this game, especially in the times that we're living in. We really... I need something like this, you know? Because I am, like... Mario Odyssey music? Mix things up with the new rhythm game mode. Oh, it's a rhythm game mo mode. I never thought... I didn't, I didn't know that this was not in there. Speaking of... There is <laughs> in the rhythm game. Beat Saber for Switch. <laughs> We're talking music JK. from Super Mario Odyssey. Oh, that's cool. Splatoon 2 and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. On top of that, I feel my power returning. Your companion, Ring, will now have a female voice option. Oh! And you'll also be able to change languages. Oh, wow! Change it up in the settings whenever you want. This wasn't a thing before? Like I said, I, I want to get this game just for like... Just so I can have something to like work out to, you know? battling mood, you can simply run through a variety of fields. It would be funny if I streamed something like this. <laughs> <laughs> for the Ring Fit Adventure game will be available today. Another shadow drop up, like another another shadow drop update. It's crazy. Better open the gates. One treasured TRPG Wait. approaches. Wait, this is since 1990, the King's Bounty series has been King's Bounty, the yeah. Of Western RPGs. I've really played this. Back with a fresh look and a new approach. 
This straight up sequel, Ooh, the doggies. Army against army. <laughs> player on a quest around the world to save the world. Oh, this why time, why does it blur look blurry a little bit? Hello. Your choices matter more than ever. And so does the terrain you stand on. By the way, this so is direct. Surroundings like the master give another you are. 15 minutes of it. Across the land, Interesting. you'll meet new people whose ethics and affinities are informed by the new character development system. Find All out right. how deep the gameplay will get when King's Bounty 2 launches on Nintendo Switch in 2020. Usually when I see any of these now, like... Super Smash Bros. Ultimate News approaches. For what? The fighter included in Wave 6 of the paid Super Wait. Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC will be... Wait! What? Joining the oh! We got our arms up in Smash! Thanks to those extendable arms, so we'll have to extend our development time what? too. What the hell? For just a bit longer. The next spider will be announced and released this June. All right. They're trying to bring arms back to relevance. Not bad at all. Don't miss this arms game. See? <laughs> What the hell? They just gonna do the sixth fighter just like that? Like, what the hell? All right. Fighting superstars share one thing in common: extendable arms. So equip super-powered arms to create a slew of combinations. For a limited time, you can try out the. They're trying to bring arms back to relevancy, huh? Let's get stretchy. Wait, they're really trying to bring it back. Feeling good? Well, all right. Well, I mean, I did not think we would get a Smash reveal like that, in my opinion. <laughs> in my opinion, I did not think so. Ooh. Where... Where am I? Wait. I can't believe I survived. Wait. Bravely default? Looking like it. Ooh. Fire. Oh, wow. Wind. Earth. Nature's masters. The great stone's Ooh. power exceeds Okay. Not bad. If unleashed would bring down death, disaster, calamity, and blight upon the land. Heroes of light. May the crystals guide you. I pray I played a uh, brave uh yeah, bravely default on uh, 3DS. It was pretty good. I don't think I finished it though. If I've helped even one person, then I've done the right thing. That's what I'm talking about. When is this game releasing? It looks good. It really looks good. This tale unfolds on the continent of Excellent, home to five mighty kingdoms. The saga begins when our hero Seth, a young sailor, washes up on the shores of one such kingdom. Well, at least I'm alive. Here, he meets Gloria of Musa, a princess who was forced to flee her kingdom when it was destroyed by evil forces bent on stealing its crystals. Ah, shoot. You dare claim the crystals? You do not know their worth. He also encounters two travelers determined to decipher a mysterious and magical book, Elvis and Adele. I've a certain special book. 39 notifications. <laughs> or anything i'm just here because he hired me oh my she popping off guided by fate our heroes join forces and set off together on a grand mission each filled with a sense the game of looks purpose. good it looks really good but there will be those who stand in their way those who have gotten hold of special items known as asterisks these stones allow their holders to take on jobs such as thief or black mage Becoming infinitely more powerful. Oh, in the process. wow. Was that like an in game cutscene right there? Oh, wow. This actually looks really good. Huh, he looks stoned. To use brave points or BP, the lifeblood of the game's turn based system. I follow a lot of people uh, with noti uh, and I have notifications on for them, so there's like 39 in the past like 10 minutes. Oh wow. Yeah. Choose default to order a character to guard, reclaiming a BP in the process. 
Strategically hold back or take multiple actions in one turn. To make the Looks good to me. You must consider your character's roles and statuses at all times. Should you manage to fell an asterisk holder, you will acquire their asterisk, allowing you to take on the associated job. Jobs can be combined at will, greatly expanding your strategic options and influencing the development of your characters. I'll take that. Oh wow. A demo oh, wow. version of the game will launch demo. today. Today. Okay. We'll Not bad. There's a uh, less than 10 minutes left. Who knows what's going to see. There's a demo out today. I might have to try that out actually. 2020. There's really no it really sucks because we we there's d game developers basically have no idea when we'll any of these games are coming out. Tabletop classics from around the world will come together on Nintendo Switch. Uh, what? Chess? Uh, dice? Okay, pool. Okay, solid air? Clubhouse games? Alright. Alright. Presenting every single game included in this massive new collection of fun from around the globe. Menkala, Hanafuda, Backgammon, Renegade, Checkers, President, Dominoes, Speed, Heron Hound. Speed! Blackjack, Four in a Row. Poker? Ooh. Chess. Shogi, Poker? Mini Shogi. <laughs> Ludo. Richie Mahjong, Sevens. Wow. Golf, darts, Texas Hold'em, Nine Men's Morris, Air Hockey. Whoa. Carom, Chinese Checkers, Yacht Dice, Taco Whoa. Game, Billiards, Hex, Spider Solitaire, Gomoku, Matching, Bowling, Shooting Gallery, Slot Cards. Bo wait, Bowling! Hit and Blow, Pig's Tail, Wii Sports? Solitaire, Last Card, JK. Fishing, Klondike Solitaire, Toy Tennis, Toy Soccer, Toy Curling, Toy Boxing, Toy Baseball. Battle tanks, team tanks, sliding puzzle, and what? six ball puzzle. Fifty one really games? And Whoa! ways to play them. Some games are multiplayer, including options for up to four people. Wow. Wireless and in some cases online play is supported too. Oh boy. Choose three games. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. To your heart's content against rivals the world. <sighs> you already know how I feel about Nintendo's online. Classics launches on Nintendo June 5th. June 5th. All right. Pre-purchase begins today. Hopefully it's not too expensive. That could be actually not bad. Will the real Master Ninja please stand up? Oh, this oh, is that. So yeah, you're Ninjala. Ultimate ninja, are you? Well then, prove it in battle. As one of eight players, you must earn the most points to claim victory. Sprint across stages and show off your gum ninjutsu like only you. Did can. I just read ni Battle Royale for eight players By only? Ninja gum, you can dash at high speeds. Disguise yourself. Okay. <laughs> Yo! And speaking of arsenals, he funny. From heavy hitting hammers to fast and flashy katanas. Oh my! To tricked out yo-yos. Your choice of equipment could mean the town looks like Splatoon. Two ninjas thrive in clans, so cement Ish. your supremacy in four-on-four -four team battles that prove ninjas are most clever when they work together. Will your efforts end in gummy disaster, or prove you're the master? Never played Ninjala. Sneaks up on Nintendo Switch May 27. May 27. Free to play too. Free to play. Not bad. Check out what you can play on Nintendo Switch. Oh, this is that highlight reel. Enter Let me guess. Skywalker's Jedi Academy. Jedi Academy. Yeah. This was gonna be. Play a role in this Star Wars story and battle online with. This was gonna be released on PS4 today. Star Wars Jedi Knight. Jedi Academy launches Th today. Nintendo Switch today. today. Yeah, so another shadow drop right there. Star Wars Episode One Racer is coming soon. Okay, nice. In this remade dragon riding class, oh, uh, Panzer Dragoon, dragon through incredible landscapes, battling giant creatures and lethal battleships. They haven't said anything on Trials of Mana yet. That game comes out next month, right? Targeting. 
Pretty sure it does. It's your destiny to reach the tower or die How many minutes we got left? When Panzer 23. Remake launches first, so we got Nintendo five minutes. Switch as a timed console exclusive today. Today! Holy shit! Another dropped ex There's a lot more coming to Nintendo Switch. I meant another shadow drop. There we go. There's Trials of Mana right there. <clears throat> Oh yeah, this game. I actually kind of want to... I'm actually interested in this. Obviously, we gotta have that high light reel before the one more thing, you know? Closed beta April 9th? Okay. Burnout Paradise remastered. Looks good. Looks good. Tomorrow. Oh shit. I like Saints Row. I only played like two, three, and a little bit of four. I don't think I played the first one. By the way, if we're only going by first party, oh, we only know Xenoblade now. It's all right. Well, it's been fun, but today's Nintendo Direct Mini isn't over yet. One more thing. This is our last news of the day. All right, here it is. We go. What we got here? Now for the latest oh. information on the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. Okay, I'll be honest. <laughs> With an expansion pass, I thought we were gonna. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games will grow. The sprawling island in the sea, the Isle of Armor, and the frozen snowscape known as the Crown Tundra will be accessible in the Galar region. It's a new adventure to embark on with new people to meet along the way. Today we have some follow up information about part one the Isle of Armor. I legit thought this one last the thing thing would be a, a new Pokemon announcement, battles, but I guess not. Where trainers gather to master their skills. And if Those costumes look dojo, dope. Ooh. You will receive the legendary Pokemon. Kubfu. Kubfu! I legit forgot what the name was. Oh, wow. Kubfu, you will receive permission to challenge the Towers of Two Fists on the Isle of Armor. In this challenge, you will enter one of two towers. The Tower of Darkness. Okay. The Tower of Waters. Okay. You may only choose one, and you and Kubfu must face this challenge alone. Once you've conquered one of the towers, Kubfu will evolve into Urshifu. If you choose the Tower of Darkness, it will learn single strike style. But if you choose oh. the Tower of it will learn rapid strike style. Okay. Dark or water. The choice is yours and yours alone. Beyond that, the evolved form of your partner Pokemon, Gigantamax, Rillaboom, Cinderace, or Intellion, will gain a Gigantamax form as a reward for your adventure on the Isle of Armor. Oh, it, as a reward. Okay. Pokemon's Gigantamax form. All right. Beating Intellion. A drum and controlling its roots. It's G Max Drum Solo. Kicking a giant ball of fire to deliver a powerful shot. Jeez! Fireball. That's pretty dope. Testing the opponent with water from 130 feet up. It's G Max Hydro Snipe. These moves are stronger than Dynamax moves, and when used, the opponent's abilities pretty have dope. no effect when they are attacking. I'll be honest. In addition to new outfit items and hairstyles. Ooh. There will also be new league card backgrounds, effects, and frames. Okay. Now okay. you have even more customizations to use to show off your personality. Cool. Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass Part 1. End of the June. Isle of Armor will launch by the end of June. I would not be surprised also, if this still gets delayed too. the Expansion <clears throat> Pass, we prepared this early purchase bonus you can receive All right. August 31st. 31, okay. I'll be honest. Today, during max raid battles in the wild area, you'll have a higher chance of encountering the Gigantamax forms of Caparaja and Duraludon Ooh. in Pokemon Sword. And Garbodor and Charizard in Pokemon Shield. Battle with other trainers to take on this challenge together. 
Wow. For today's Nintendo Direct Mini. Thanks for watching. All right. Not a bad direct. Not a bad direct. Obviously, it was a mini. Uh, but we at least got some more information. Some new information, I guess. Not bad. Would we have liked to see some new information on unannounced games? Sure. But I feel like with this, right? I feel like this basically shows that they're probably not ready to show any of this off. And then whenever the whenever they do decide to show it off, maybe whenever E3 was supposed to be, maybe then we'll see more of that. But it's very, very surprising that it's March, almost April, and we still have no clue what the hell their holiday title is. I don't know. It's a, it's a little weird. We got Xenoblade in May, and then we got Bravely Default 2, which is coming sometime this year and um more news on pokemon but like we still like i said no more no new information i thought we would get at least a port news on here xenoblade doesn't count because we already knew that i thought we would at least get like an unannounced port but but nothing on that either we didn't even get eh it's a mini i feel like i should not be overhyping this but it's a mini. We got some new information, which is all perfectly fine. I'm just kind of surprised they didn't have, like, I don't think they had one single new announcement here. Like, one unannounced, I should say. Very surprising. I feel like the, I feel like something that just was, like, out of nowhere, though, was ARMS being in Smash. So, yeah. All right, well, that's going to be it for this. I'm going to go ahead and stop, uh, stop, yeah, stop, not, not stop streaming. Stop recording. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Uh, if you watch this still today, I'm going to be live today at 1.30 Eastern Time, PM, uh, with some Animal Crossing. And we are most likely going to be talking about this threat. So, yeah. Peace out, fellas. Have yourselves a good one. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Stay hydrated. And uh, I'll see you guys on Twitch. Peace out.